Holger Rune has one win since Wimbledon, Francis Tiafo has zero ATP Tour level wins since the US Open, yes these are the results of my favorite players. So you just know that I've been in the tennis version of hell the last few months. But that's nothing new to me, I mean I have been an Arsenal fan since I was 10 and I'm 23 now so by now I have learned to deal with such rough patches from my favorites in sports. But it doesn't mean that I ignore them, it's not great to see Rune ending his Stockholm title defense in the first round against Miomir Kacmanovic, it's definitely not ideal that Francis Tiafo got beat in the first round in Tokyo, where he had to defend his finals points, but I'm not making this video to dwell on that, I'm making this video to do what every real fan should do in this situation, I'm here to make excuses for them. Well actually I'm here to deflect because they are not the only players who have been subpar recently. Players like Taylor Fritz and Kasper Ruud are kind of fumbling their chances at going to the ATP finals, where they could potentially lose a significant chunk of points if they don't make it there. Top 20 player Cam Nori has won 4 out of his last 15 matches, Stefanos Tsitsipas hasn't played a good tennis match since who knows when. So I'm just letting you know that this drop in form is not exclusive to my favorites and this is where I come in with a valid excuse for such turn of events, which is that the end of the season always produces odd results because some of the top players are not able to deal with the physical and in my opinion most importantly mental fatigue that sets in after the last Grand Slam of the season. Are we going to pretend like anyone expected Felix Ogelia seem to become the greatest tennis player that the world has ever seen at the end of the last season? I don't think so. Even Rune's win in Paris was a surprising one and we don't even have to go far back into the past to find a shocking Paris Masters champion like Jack Sock or Karen Khachanov. So you just know that the last stretch of the season is tailor made for unexpected results because there is no denying that some of the players just mentally check out and they wait for the break and the next season. Which is not something that they should be proud of but at the same time it means that if you were a betting man that I would suggest for you to predict the unpredictable in such circumstances. And I'm not saying this to diminish all the great late season runs from players, actually I think it's more difficult to play great tennis at the end of the season rather than the start of the season for example, but I do think that these late season declines or instances of overperforming are not that significant in terms of the overall trajectory of the player's career. How are your favorites doing right now? Share that in the comment section down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel and until next time, take it easy my friend.